the AI arms race just took another major leap, and this time it's Elon Musk's XAI making headlines. The release of Grok 3 has sparked widespread attention after early benchmarks showed it outperforming DeepSeek R1 in reasoning tasks. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Grok 3 didn't just surpass DeepSeek, it also came close to OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, a model that costs $200 a month, making it one of the most significant advancements in AI technology to date. If you've been following AI developments, you already know the competition is heating up. OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Meta, and now XAI are pushing the limits of large language models, each racing to create the most powerful AI. DeepSeek, a Chinese AI company, had been gaining ground with its DeepSeek R1 model, which showed strong performance in mathematical reasoning. But Grok 3 just changed the game. It's the first AI to break 1,400 plus on Chatbot Arena, a widely respected platform for ranking AI performance. That means it has outperformed Gemini 2.0 Flash, Claude, and DeepSeek R1 in key reasoning tasks. This is an unprecedented achievement, setting a new standard for AI capabilities. What makes this even more significant is how Grok 3's new deep search feature attempts to compete directly with OpenAI's advanced research tools. This is a bold move that could shift the balance in AI research and development. The key question now is, how did Grok 3 pull this off? And what does it mean for the future of AI? Grok 3 represents a massive leap from its predecessors, incorporating advanced reasoning, AI research capabilities, and more sophisticated training data. The architecture behind Grok 3 has been fine-tuned to not only understand text, but also engage in deep analytical thinking, setting it apart from previous iterations. It has demonstrated the ability to parse long and complex documents, break down logical arguments, and even analyze abstract concepts, making it more effective at handling intellectual and computational challenges. One of the biggest challenges in AI development has been complex reasoning, solving problems that require logical thinking, planning, and multi-step understanding. Grok 3 has proven it can handle these tasks more effectively than DeepSeek R1, which had been previously praised for its reasoning abilities. This suggests that Grok 3's architecture includes optimizations for long-term context understanding and enhanced logical structuring, giving it an edge over previous models. Unlike many of its competitors, Grok 3 can maintain coherence over extended text inputs, improving response consistency. Andrzej Karpathy, a former OpenAI researcher and now founder of Eureka Labs, had early access to Grok 3. He tested it against OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, DeepSeek R1, and other major models. One of his most striking findings was that while Grok 3 struggled in some areas, it consistently outperformed DeepSeek in reasoning heavy tasks. For example, when testing AI's ability to create a hexagonal grid for the board game Settlers of Catan, Grok 3 handled it accurately something DeepSeek R1, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and Claude all failed at. This suggests that Grok 3's training data and fine-tuning have been specifically optimized for logical and spatial reasoning, setting it apart from its competitors. Additionally, Grok 3 introduced Deep Search, a feature designed to improve AI-assisted research. This is a direct competitor to OpenAI's advanced browsing tools and models like Perplexity AI. In theory, Deep Search should allow Grok 3 to provide more reliable, research-backed answers. However, its actual performance remains under scrutiny, as early users have reported mixed results when relying on the feature for fact-based information retrieval. When it comes to AI performance, benchmarks matter. They provide a clear way to measure how well models handle real-world tasks. Chatbot Arena is one of the most trusted AI benchmarking platforms where different models are blind-tested by users. Grok 3 not only scored the highest ever recorded on the platform, but it also left DeepSeek R1 behind in reasoning, logic-based queries, and complex problem-solving. This means Grok 3 is not just faster, it's smarter, capable of handling complex queries with more precision than its predecessors. Its ability to tackle intricate multi-step problems suggests it is moving closer to general intelligence, making it a contender in the ongoing AI arms race. Breaking it down, Grok 3 outperformed DeepSeek R1 in advanced mathematical reasoning, showing a stronger ability to handle complex calculations and logic-based challenges. It also excelled in long-form, multi-step reasoning tasks, outperforming both Claude and Gemini 2.0 Flash. But perhaps most notably, Grok 3 competed with OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, 
demonstrating capabilities on par with some of OpenAI's top-tier AI systems. This positions Grok3 as one of the most powerful language models available today, challenging the dominance of the major AI players. One of the most important insights from Andre Karpathy's testing was Grok3's performance in training compute estimations. When asked to analyze OpenAI's GPT-2 technical paper and estimate the floating point operations per second flops required to train it, Grok3 handled the task effectively, something even OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo struggled with. This showed that Grok3 is not just good at answering questions but can also analyze and compute complex machine learning data with high accuracy, a crucial capability for AI researchers and developers. But while these results are impressive, Grok3 still has noticeable weaknesses. One of the biggest issues reported so far is its tendency to hallucinate URLs and provide incorrect citations when using deep search. Karpathy himself pointed this out when he asked the model to generate a report on major AI labs and their funding. It provided made-up figures and incorrect data sources. Even more interesting, Grok3 forgot to include its own company, XAI, on the list. This shows that while deep search is an ambitious feature, it hasn't yet reached OpenAI's level of fact-checking and reliability. All eyes are now on Grok4, the next-generation model expected from XAI. If Grok3 has already reached the level of OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, what will Grok4 be capable of? Many experts believe that Elon Musk's long-term AI strategy will involve integrating Grok into Tesla, X, and even Neuralink. If this happens, we could see AI being embedded directly into real-world applications at a level never seen before. AI-assisted automation in vehicles, real-time content moderation on social platforms, and even advanced brain-computer interfaces could soon become a reality. But OpenAI isn't sitting still either. Rumors of GPT-5 are already circulating, with reports suggesting it could be released as soon as mid-2025. If Grok4 is going to challenge OpenAI, it will need to match or surpass GPT-5's expected multimodal and reasoning capabilities. The battle between XAI, OpenAI, and DeepSeek is far from over, and the next few months could define the future of AI development. This intense competition will likely drive rapid advancements, leading to AI that is faster, more reliable, and capable of even greater problem-solving. Grok3's success signals that we are entering a new phase in AI development one where models are not just faster, but also smarter, more adaptable, and closer to artificial general intelligence than ever before. The real AI war is only getting started. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments. And if you want to stay updated on AI breakthroughs, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.